my name is Corey Dorsey. I'm 41 years old, man. I listen to the Ricky, Ricky Smiley Morning Show on the on the way to work every morning. And this particular morning, man, I never voted in my life. This particular morning, man, he played the pastor. Uh, I don't know his name, but the pastor uh, who just gave an inspirational speech about black life. If you, you can't claim Black Lives Matter if you're not going to the polls, you don't care about Breonna Taylor if you're not going to the polls. The next day, the next day after I heard that. I went and registered to vote. I'm going to vote for the first time in my life. I will be at the polls in line November the 3rd. Ricky Smiley, baby. Yes, get out and vote. Oh, God, let me talk this through. I want to make sure you catch this. When you don't vote, you jeopardize the future of justice in this land. If you're not voting, then you're not casting your voice about the district attorneys and the state attorneys in your local communities. You know where justice begins? With the district attorney. You know who makes a decision about who goes to trial? The district attorney. You know who's, who organizes plea bargains? The district attorneys. You know who fails to indict officers for killing black people? The district attorneys. And when you don't vote, you have no say in the person who makes the decision of who goes to trial and who walks away without even being indicted. When you don't vote, you are not eligible to serve in a jury pool. So when you don't vote, you're not part of the grand jury who makes a decision of whether that officer ought to be indicted or not. When you don't vote, you don't get to sit in the jury of peers and advocate for someone who looks like you for lesser sentencing, or for even equal treatment under the law. When you don't vote, you are not part of the justice system. You disqualify yourself when you sit at home. And beloved, voting is not simply about what president will sit for the next four years. When you fail to vote, you do not understand the judicial legacy that a president leaves long after he is in office. This vote in November is not about the next four years. It's about the next 40 years. Let me take you back to constitution and governance. The president of the United States has the authority to place men and women as judges all across the district courts, the appellate court, and the Supreme Court. This current president, in his four years, has appointed more judges than every other president except Jimmy Carter. In four years, President Donald Trump has appointed 198 judges to the bench, two to the Supreme Court, some 50 plus to appellate court, and the rest to district court. And many of those appointees will sit as justices of judgment for the rest of their lives. 198 judges have been appointed by this president. Do you know how many of those 198 appointees are black? Do you know how many of the 198 appointees of this president are of color. Of the 198 judges that this president has placed on the bench, not one of them is black. Not a single black face sitting as a judge under this president. 198 judges and not one of them is black. Man, stop filming.
everyone that is able to vote to go vote. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Don't forget to tell the love and your love because tomorrow is not promised to anyone. Stay thankful and grateful, safe and healthy. Until next time.